Hey everyone, I'm Premier Gal, and welcome back to another episode of Editor's Essentials. So if you guys are new to the series, basically what I'm doing is breaking down the best video editing hardware that you should be using to speed up your workflow, as well as some video editing tips. So in this episode, I'm going to be talking about the best media management practices to speed up your workflow. First up is your folder organization. I like to keep a project template folder saved on my desktop at all times, as well as on my external drives. So that way I can copy and use them as a starting point for all of my projects. So in my template folder, I have three main root folders, a projects folder, which is for storing all of my project files, such as Premiere Pro, After Effects, Audition, Photoshop, etc. And I create a new folder for each of these different project files to organize them within. So within the project folder, I always store my template Premiere Pro project, which has all of the bin folders already that I need for every project. And it has all of the set graphics that I use in every video that I create. So next I have a folder for media. And here I have folders within it for video, photos, graphics, motion graphics, and audio. While most of these folders are empty, I tend to keep a few graphics or audio tracks that I often use in my video productions. And lastly here, I have an output folder. This is a folder where I save all of my finished exports from my video projects or thumbnails. It's nice to have one place where all of that goes. And once you have all of the final assets done, I like to create a folder called final. So that way in this folder, you can always come back to it and have all of the final assets and you don't have to worry about, you know, was this the final project? We've all done that. So I have a link to download this template project folder structure in the description box below. So that way you can use them in your future projects if you like. So once you're in Premiere Pro, here are a few other customizations that you can make to speed up your workflow. So first you want to make sure to set your media cache to your local drive. Most computers come with an internal solid state drive, which can read and write footage at a much faster rate than a standard hard drive. In a previous episode, I talk all about drives. So you guys should watch that if you haven't, and you shouldn't be storing your media cache to an external drive because it slows down the process. So while we're here in preferences, let's go to RAM and memory usage. So you wanna dedicate more RAM for use in Premiere Pro and only dedicate a few for other applications to maximize your speed. And lastly, go to your project settings and go to general and make sure that you're using GPU acceleration for rendering. Make sure that you're not using software only. You want to take advantage of the Mercury playback engine to speed up your workflow. If you're on a Mac, you have a choice for both OpenCL or Metal. And many say that Metal is better for speed when using a Mac, but I would recommend trying out both options to see which one has a better GPU performance on your computer. But the key here is to make sure that GPU acceleration is on as many effects in Premiere Pro rely on it for preview and rendering speed. So another tip for editing larger projects with lots of effects is to reduce the playback resolution. Most video editing softwares have this capability, but if you are using Premiere Pro, just change the playback resolution from the program window using the select playback resolution dropdown. And from here you can change and reduce the quality of playback I would recommend to a quarter speed. So what this will do is reduce the quality of the playback preview. It doesn't reduce the quality of your actual video. It'll just make the playback faster and smoother and easier to edit. So that's all for tips this week. And if you have any questions about the process or any tips that I gave, be sure to leave a comment below and I'll see you next time for an episode on the best keyboard shortcuts for editing fast inside of Premiere Pro. See you guys then. Bye.